what's going on guys we have this question right here is asking find the basis and the dimension of span 1 2 1 3 1 1 5 5 3 so in this kind of question the first thing we have to do is that we have to find the cross jordan so let's arrange this in a matrix form first so it's going to be 1 2 1 3 1 1 5 3 1 1 and 5 5 3 so first of all uh, we have to, to do the cross jordan uh, to cross jordan we have to have uh, all the values below pivots equal to 0 right so in this case let's do the third one and second one so 1 2 1 so to make the second one equal to 0 I can multiply the first equation by negative 3 and add it with the second equation so it's going to be negative 3 r1 plus r2 so which is going to give me 0 right here and this is going to be min minus 6 plus 1 is going to be minus 5 and minus 3 plus 1 is going to be minus 2 and I, I can also say do the same thing to the third one it's going to be minus 5 r1 plus r2 which is going to give me 0 right here then this is going to become minus 10 plus 5 is going to be minus 5 and minus 5 plus 3 is going to be minus 2 so these are the values we have and if uh, I can eliminate one of them by looking we can say that but let's do one more step so this is going to be 0 minus 5 minus 2 and if I multiply this one by negative and add it with the third equation this will become 0 so it's going to become minus r2 plus r3 equals 0 0 0 then uh, then I had to so I had to bring the ghost children pattern to bring that I had to make all the values above pivot above or below it pivot equal to 0 so in this case we have negative value right here so I can make it positive by simply multiplying by negative 1 so if I do that it's going to become 1 2 1 0 5 2 over 0 0 0 <coughs> then continue here so it's going to become 1 1 2 1 and to bring the ghost to pattern I have to make this one into 1 so I have, I can simply divide this one by 5 to make it 1 so if I divide this one by 5 this is going to become 1 and the other one is going to become 2 over 5 now I can multiply the second equation by negative 2 and add it with the first equation to make this one equal to 0 so let's do that so now I divided second equation by 5 let's, let's multiply the second equation by negative 1 and negative 2 and add it with the first equation so negative 2 r2 plus r1 which is going to give me 1 0 then if I multiply this one in negative 4 over 5 then 1 I can write it as 5 over 5 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5 is going to become 1 over 5 so 1 over 5 0 1 2 over 5 and we have brought this one into cross children pattern so if you look at this so we have two in uh, linearly independent uh, independent vectors therefore these are the vectors gonna be the answers for the basis so a basis is basis is the b b is equal to the rows which carries the linear uh, pivots so it's going to be 1 2 1 3 1 1 so 1 2 1 3 1 3 1 1 what what it is basically mean is it means the third one is combination of these three two for example this is like if you multiply this one by two and add it with the third equation you are going to get this value uh, let's say 2 4 2 right 2 plus 3 5 4 plus 1 5 2 plus 1 5 3 so that's how the third one is so therefore this is the uh, extra information that's why uh, we have to find uh, we are finding the basis so it's eliminating automatically when we do the ghost down so that's how we find this and they are also asking for the dimension since we have two linearly independent vectors this is dimension is going to be two So this is my final answer and that's how we do this question. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.